Hey guys, Weekend Modder here with a quick video I wanted to run through on this console. Um, I, I get a lot of questions constantly about how to set up um, Xbox Neighborhood uh, after purchasing one of my consoles. And it's not something I really do to mess with them, but I, I wanted to talk about different ways uh, to get connectivity into your Xbox 360 RGH console. So um, if you're looking at the, uh, the video feed here, um, what you can see in the back is I've got Ethernet plugged in, HDMI, and power. Now this is a standard console loaded up exactly like I would sell one. This one's not sold yet or anything, uh, so feel free to check out store.weekendmodder.com and buy it if you want. Uh, it's that last trinity that's up there. I went ahead and preemptively did blue LEDs because that seems to be what most people choose anyway. But, sales pitch over. Um, the console is pre-configured the same way I do all of them. Uh, freestyle dash, dash launch, and XDX menu. So I'm just going to show you real fast. We'll hit the power on, and then uh, here in just a moment when we get a successful boot, okay? So let's throw over to the, uh, the game capture. So rather than holding a camera up to a screen, moving up, i got an actual game capture set up. I've had this thing for months and done it before, but um, the only downside is my only preview is the actual... Um, game capture relay feed itself so my actions might be a little delayed. I just want to show you that if you go up into the utilities and the file manager, uh, so the console as you can see obviously it booted into Freestyle Dash. We can go down into hard drive, we can go down to dash launch 317, and we can launch that default.xex by pressing A hovering over it and you can see uh, down here at the last option uh, the configurator, excuse me, you know what, I, I, I should correct myself, the plugins option, that I don't have any plugins set. I haven't changed any of the default settings as far as the uh, um, stuff under network, like live block or live strong, any of that. Um, so XHTTP, all of that still enabled. Um, no, no changes to this whatsoever. So I wanted to show you how uh, so I just hit B, just to be clear, um, to hit back to Freestyle Dash. I wanted to show you how using this, uh, as it comes, all I've done is connect it to network. And down in the lower left, you see that little indicator says 192.168.1.66? So that's the IP address that was assigned to my Xbox. So if I come back to uh, my computer desktop here, uh, and I'm going to open up a program called File... Zilla. Now FileZilla, uh, so you probably can't see the top of my uh, icon there, but FileZilla is an FTP and SFTP application. Um, by default, Freestyle Dash has an FTP server built into it. So if we um, flip back to the console for a second, if let's see if I can uh, show you where this is at. So if we go up into Setup, and then settings. So I'm going to just show you where it so it shows this at all. So I think we're going to uh, system settings. Let's see. Security. Yeah. Enable FTP server. And there's a way that you can set the username and password if you want. But the default user and default password on your local network is just Xbox Xbox. So between the fact that we know our IP address uh, in the lower left of freestyle there, 192.168.1.66, and that we've confirmed we've got our FTP server running, uh, if we pop back over to the uh, computer here, literally in the host, I'm just going to type 192.168.1.66, username of Xbox, password of Xbox, all lowercase, and hit this quick connect button. So by hitting this quick connect button, uh, what I've done is uh, connected to any devices that are attached here. Right now I have a hard drive and then it shows game. I think it always shows that. If you had a USB 0, USB 1, those would show up as, uh, as browsable as well. So I can click into the hard drive here and we can do uh, what we would want to do to get neighborhood working um, or 
we can simply use this for FTP transfer. So if your whole goal is just to be able to drag and drop files onto your console from your computer without having to use USB, you're done. Boom, drag, drop, and you're good. Uh, the FTP server within uh, FileZilla, or excuse me, the FTP server within Freestyle Dash does only work uh, while Freestyle Dash is running, but you're gonna, you could be running Freestyle Dash when you're trying to transfer files. Uh, so that's that's not an issue, uh, but just to prove the point that we wanted to get uh, um, the Xbox neighborhood working, you can see here what I've done is loaded up an xbdm.xex and an xbdm.ini. Now these are not typically there uh, when you get a console from me. So the the difference here is that real quick I'm just deleting those so that it is exactly like you would get the console. So this is what you would see if you got a console directly from me with, without that there. I'm gonna provide a link in the description in this video, so feel free to just click the show more description. I'm gonna put a link to both of these files that you're seeing on the desktop. The xbdm.xex and the Xbox 360 SDK. Uh, this is the actual installer, the neighborhood uh, that lives on your PC's installer. So real fast, let's go ahead and actually install that. Um, so I, I, I'm going to do it just like I would any other time. Just give it a double click. Uh, it's going to bring up the, are you sure you want to continue? This might be a safety hazard sort of thing. So I'm going to say yes to that. And then we get the standard sort of disclaimers that we just next through a whole bunch of times. You don't have to change anything about the default installation. Just next, 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 next. And the reason uh, I'm providing uh, links to a mega link of these is because uh, they'll be known to be good working with recent configurations that have left me. This particular console is a Trinity RGH uh, done with a CR4 speed up. So if you've got one of those, of which I have sold many recently, uh, this video and these files should work with you no problem. Uh, although I suppose your particular PC and local network configuration could come into play too. So here's the, a couple of more clicks of finish here. Uh, you get a nice little release notes pop up. Um, so it, it tries to access a page and then can't find it. So that's super helpful. Um, so now what just happened was there was a new icon that appeared off screen that you couldn't quite see here, Xbox 360 Neighborhood. Now Xbox 360 Neighborhood, when you launch it, brings up this uh, like Windows location type thing where you click add new Xbox 360 so you can try to create a console to connect to. Um, so what I'm going to do is bring FileZilla back over, right? Since we have that connected uh, because still on the console we have uh, freestyle dashboard running and you can actually even see it that look at the very bottom status bar there, status FTP connected. So it, it's even advertising to us that we've connected to it. So um, what we're literally just going to do is I'm, I'm on my desktop on the left side. On the right side, I'm in the remote site, the, the hard drive on the uh, Freestyle Dash FTP server. And I'm just going to drag that xbdm.xex over onto the hard drive and then just release it. Then I get a, just a transaction finished and you can see now we do have that xbdm.xex. So from there, we need to go back to the console here and go up to the Utilities and File Manager again. And we need to launch the Dash Launch application so that we can edit the Dash Launch settings to actually make use of that file that we just loaded. So we'll go back down to our Dash Launch 317 folder. We'll hover over the default.xex and press A. Now here we're going to go down to plugins, and then for plugin number one, we're going to hover over it, press A. It's going to ask us to select it, right? We're in a browse type window now, so we're going to go into the hard drive, and then we're going to pick that xbdm.xex. Now there's lots of different versions of this file floating around too. I'm going to link to this one, which is an exact copy of what I've tested. Uh, but if there are other variants that do and don't work for you, feel free to call out links to them or stuff in the comments. 
Um, so I'm hitting right bumper now to go back to my list of devices. I'm going to scroll down to the hard drive, which is where I store my launch.ini, and I'm going to press X. And you can see that I get a nice little setting save to HDD launch.ini. So now what I'm going to do is actually reboot the entire console. So I'm going to physically hit the power button here, let it go all the way off, and then let it come all the way back up. So if we go ahead and power back on, So there's our boot. So the dash launch thing, if, if it showed up for you guys, that was just cached from where we turned it off. It's, it's gone back to the logo and is booting now, as you can see. And it's going to do just like it did, boot directly into freestyle, because we didn't change the default path for the boot. Uh, it's booted up, and we left the Ethernet plugged in, so you can see that lower left, it's got an IP address still. So we're going to come back on the PC in this uh, neighborhood uh, location. So this is the old installer file. Uh, you could delete this if you weren't going to need it anymore or in the, uh, you know, once you had uh, run the installer. So all I'm going to do is double click this to open it. I'm going to click add a new Xbox 360. And just kind of like how I configured it to talk over FTP, we just have to give it the IP address of the Xbox. So we're going to go 192.168.1.66. I'm going to say next. Would you like to use this as the default development kit? Yeah, let's make it be our default. So we're going to say finish. And then there's our, it calls it JTAG. Uh, we know better. We know that it's technically an RGH, but that's uh, probably however who coded the xbdm.xex uh, designed it to kind of show up. And then here you go. The, these are the browsable sort of things. So you can browse the hard drive here. You can browse the HDDX, which is kind of a hidden partition. You can browse the hard drive emulation hidden partition. There's lots of stuff that you could do with this. Um, that's not the point of this video other than to show you that if we go into the hard drive, we can see that same launch that uh, INI. And there's that xbdm.ini that we did not create. We only dragged over this .xex file. Uh, this got created automatically. So this is the contents of our hard drive being browsed via neighborhood. So now anything else that runs on top of neighborhood like RPC tools or whatever should work just fine. And that's how uh, you can set up Xbox neighborhood on your console as received from Weekend Monitor. Now this does not handle uh, getting online. I, I do have a stealth video uh, do I need to go through and do some more reviews on that so look for that in the future and uh, thanks for watching